Welcome to the first example of changing the order of integration of a double integral. Taking a look at this integral here, notice we're integrating with respect to y first, which means that y is greater than or equal to x and less than or equal to 1. Let's go ahead and write that out. We know y is greater than or equal to the lower limit of integration, x, and it's also less than or equal to the upper limit of integration of 1. And also that x is on the closed interval from 0 to 1, where that x is greater than or equal to 0, and it's less than or equal to 1. Let's go ahead and graph this region of integration. So first let's graph y is greater than or equal to x. Let's align through the origin with a slope of 1, so it passed through this point here and this point here. And notice it states that y is greater than or equal to x, so we would shade above this line. And then y is also less than or equal to 1. Well, here's the line y equals 1, and we would shade below the line. And this point of intersection here would be the point 1, 1. And then x is greater than or equal to 0, that would be along here and to the right. And it's also less than or equal to 1, so from here to the left. So we can see this would be our region of integration for this double integral. If we take a close look at this integral, we would not be able to integrate this in its current order, but hopefully when we switch the order of integration, it'll be much more manageable. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's go ahead and label these lines again. This, this was x equals 0, this was y equals x, and this was y equals 1. So now if we want to integrate with respect to x first, remember our limits of integration must be functions of y. So if we integrate from left to right first, the lower limit of integration would be 0. The upper limit would be this line here, which we're going to express as x equals y. And then for the limits of integration for a y, we're going to integrate from 0 up to 1. So now we integrate this with respect to x. y is treated as a constant, so this ends up just being x squared over 2 times the quantity 1 plus y to the third to the 1 half. And because we integrate with respect to x, we're going to replace x with y and 0. Let's go ahead and factor this 1 half out. And then when x is equal to y, we'll have y squared times the quantity 1 plus y to the third dy. Let's go ahead and finish this on the next slide. Looks like we'll perform u substitution here. This will be our u. So differential u would be 3y squared dy. Looking at our integral, we do have a y squared dy. So let's go ahead and divide this by 3. So y squared dy is the same as 1 third du. So in terms of u, we'd have 1 half times 1 third. There's our du. This just becomes u to the 1 half. Looks like we'd have 1 6. This would be u to the 3 halves divided by 3 halves, or times 2 thirds. And of course, u is 1 plus y to the third. So it looks like this simplifies nicely. We have 1 ninth. And then when y is 1, we have 2 to the 3 halves minus, and then when y is 0, 1 to the 3 halves. Simplifying this, we have a denominator of 9. 2 to the 3 halves is the same as 2 square root 2, and this would be minus 1. So you can see, once we switched the order of integration, we were able to integrate this using our integration techniques. I hope you found this example helpful. Thank you for watching.